To mark the 200th anniversary of the founding of the town of Greece, the Greece Historical Society presents a bicentennial snapshot. Each week, we take a look at a particular aspect of Greece history. This week, we complete our look at the notable building that occupied the southeast corner of Ladder Road in North Greece for so many years. As we explained in our last snapshot, the hotel was originally built in 1909. Over the years, it has had many names. It started out as the North Greece Hotel, then went by the name Morlbach Hotel, back to the North Greece Hotel, followed by the Domino Inn and Cosmo Inn during Prohibition, the Corner House Hotel post-Prohibition, until it finally and lastly became the Hotel de May in 1946. Four years after the Corner House Hotel went out of business, Ray and Irene DeMay purchased the building. It took them nine months to complete a remodeling. They modernized and redecorated the interior, installed a completely fireproof kitchen, and fitted the bar room with a 49-foot bar. They still had the largest dance floor in western New York. Another imperative was to install restrooms with plumbing. Left over from the days of the Domino Inn was a men's room that was merely a hole in the bar room floor with a concealing partition for privacy. The 1946 men's room sign was of a gent who looked like Clark Gable, and it was still on the restroom door in 1994. As for a ladies' room, there probably wasn't one until the DeMay's remodel, as women really didn't go to bars until Prohibition. This ad from January 1947 would seem to indicate that it was still not acceptable, as the cocktail lounge and bar at Hotel DeMay was where good fellows get together. That, of course, changed in subsequent years. To begin with, it was an uneasy relationship between the DeMay's Hotel and the neighbors. In September 1948, Ray was arrested on a warrant from neighbors for maintaining a public nuisance. The case was adjourned several times before being settled out of court. That's ironic, because in the following years, Ray, Irene, and their hotel were at the heart of the North Greece community. A number of their events became annual traditions, such as the annual steak dinner to mark the anniversary of the hotel's opening. And every March, a party to celebrate Ray's St. Patrick's Day birthday of March 17th. Corned beef and cabbage was on the menu, and it was free. Ray had a degree from RIT in management and worked at Kodak for eight years before going into the hotel business. He became a respected and much-loved civic leader. He served five years as the assistant fire chief of the North Greece Fire Department. The fire station was across the street from the Hotel de May, and Ray would let the firefighters park their cars in the hotel's parking lot, never charging them a cent. Ray was a lifelong member of the New York State Fire Chiefs Association. He also was a member of the Greece Volunteer Ambulance Corps. Ray sponsored a very competitive men's softball team, and he established a junior league for North Greece boys ages 7 to 12. From 1968 through 1974, the DeMays hosted an annual picnic for the North Greece Playground youngsters, members of the Junior Softball League, and their parents and friends. 500 or more people would attend, and they were served free hot dogs and soft drinks. After Ray's death from pneumonia in 1974 at the age of 55, Irene continued to run the restaurant and tavern until shortly before her death in 2000. She was known to one and all as Mother DeMay. She'd taken boarders who had nowhere else to go, housed migrant workers laboring at nearby farms, and in the aftermath of the 1991 ice storm, she opened her doors to those who needed a place to keep warm. The hotel sat empty for many years. Those who cherished this historic building hoped that it would be restored to a functional community asset. But developers were more interested in tearing it down and replacing it with a gas station and convenience store. A grassroots movement was started to save the hotel, but they were unsuccessful. The Hotel de May was torn down in November 2017. To date, nothing has been built on the site. Thanks for joining us this week. Beginning next week, you'll meet members of three longtime North Greece families, Carpenter, Combs, and Toll. This is Maureen Whalen inviting you to join us next Tuesday for another Bicentennial Snapshot presented by the Greece Historical Society. Want to learn more from the Greece Historical Society and Museum? Then click that subscribe button 
for more content and hit that bell icon to get notified when there's more Bicentennial Snapshots. You can visit us on the web at greasehistoricalsociety.org. You can find us on Facebook at Grease Historical Society. You can follow us on Twitter at Grease NY History. And you can stop in at the Grease Historical Society at 595 Long Pound Road.